Well, I just got my Bedini, uh, another charger. It's a Radiant Charger Owner's Manual. Here it is, RC2A12-3, right? This is for automotive applications. That other one I was showing, uh, I think it could use it for automotive applications, except it'll take you a while. It's a one amp, one amp an hour charger. This one's five. Um, they also sell another one that is like it's a it's a you know the larger size box like the I'll show you what that is the one I have inside uh, that's a 10 amp charger but I don't think I need that because I'm usually not in a hurry and I also have a 50 amp Schumacher boost charger and I got some other charger another 10 amp charger over here it's a marine grade charger so you know the first thing I do <laughs> personally me you see this is the, this is the actual positive. I actually like putting mine on the motorcycle near the starter and not to short nothing out I just to make sure I don't short nothing out and ground it I put this around it because I just grabbed this on by the starter uh, positive cable then I ground this out to the uh, brake by the motorcycle but this thing if it lives up to its reputation and from what I've been seeing about that Bedini Universal Renaissance charger rejuvenator it's basically what this thing is it's a rejuvenator and a charger um, I figure it's going to last, it's going to be well worth the money. Um, I've had batteries um, around for a long time and like this, actually I'm putting on a trickle charger and then I have a, a desulfator in here. Well, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. That's a desulfator. I got that desulfator back in the 90s when it, they were brand new. Um, I think it's called Battery Minder. This is more than a desulfator. It's, it does desulfation and it also uh, does some kind of like frothing of the chemicals or something like that. It gives you actually more surface charge. I'm not sure exactly what the hell it does, but you know what? I've been seeing some freaking miracles already with this damn thing. So the first thing I'm actually going to probably put it on is my um, generator, backup generator. It's going to go on that thing. Uh, you see I already got the ground disconnected anyway. It's going to go on that. Then it's going to go on that maintenance-free battery. And then, let me walk over here to the back. See, I got several cars. I got the Sebring. I got the um, El Camino. I got the Suzuki Samurai. And I got the uh, freaking motorcycle. <laughs> freaking motorcycle. Freaking damn Harley. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what I do. Um, you see that little post right there that's why I put the tape on it you see if you don't want to touch that you don't want to touch the um, if you're charged it's easy to charge a motorcycle a lot of people freaking take the freaking motorcycle battery cover off what a bunch of idiots I put it right there but you don't want to touch that positive to this and ground it out that's why I have the tape on there I always do that with all my chargers and then I just put the positive there and I put the ground right here and uh, this battery and this thing, I don't know how old it is. It's at least five years old. It might be seven years old. And, I, you know, if, say, for instance, I let this thing sit a while and I'm trying to really crank and crank and crank and crank it. Man, this battery is, like, great. And that's just from using a battery minder. So I'm thinking is if you use this BD technology, <laughs> you're not going to have any problems, man. You're not going to have any problems with freaking batteries again. That battery right there. Uh, that was on a battery minder in his trickle charger um, solar charger. That battery is a one year guarantee AutoZone battery that was bought in 1998. And it's still low test out good. It'll start that vehicle. But I got a new one in there because I don't want to be messing around. I'm just keeping it to see how long it lasts. But anyway, uh, this is 150 bucks, okay? The bigger one, it's this does 10 amps, uh, 5 amps, 5 amps an hour. The bigger one is 10 amps. It's it's similar to size of the other one I showed you in my other videos. It looks it's got the same box, but you probably you should be able to get away with this. And I think uh, I I like it better because it's more compact. I'm not in a hurry, you know. And I got loads of chargers. I got a uh, I got the Schumacher back there, the 50 amp. I got um. Oh, this one's not too bad. It's a speed charger. It's a Schumacher uh, speed charger that does, you know, gel gel batteries and I don't know whatever else, uh, glass mat batteries and crap. But I'm really sold on this. Actually, I was doing really good with batteries. I had some batteries that were seven years old, and you know what happened? What killed them? I killed two of them, three of them, I think. 
um, it was on this thing, this El Camino. I had the positive terminal um, was cracking, not the positive terminal, the uh, positive cable going down to the starter. It looked good, but where the it was going through a loop that was metal, right there, it was the rubber was cracked on the positive tape, to, uh, and it wasn't like totally shorting out, but it was enough to screw up the batteries. Um, you know, if you break the battery, you're not going to be able to fix it with this if you physically freaking damage it. But in many cases, the batteries aren't broke. You could take batteries that are dead. You probably go down a junkyard if you say, say for instance, you was like didn't have the bucks to buy a few batteries for something you don't really give a shit about driving too much, and you want to go blow like 80 bucks on a new battery or something. If you go down a junkyard, you know maybe you pick one up for five or ten bucks just to see if it's got read some kind of volts and it doesn't have any freaking. Uh, um, what do you call it, um, cracks in it or physical damage, put this charger on it and, you know, fill it up with distilled water before you do so. And more than likely, you know, you might have a good battery again. That's why I think these type of things I'm buying, I figure they're going to save me a load of money over the years. I don't, I don't plan on buying any other batteries again. If I ever do, I'll probably... I'll just get an Odyssey and it'll last me for 80 to 80 years or something with this charger. You know what I mean? So, hey, putting the big corporations out of business. You know, TPP, you know, uh, terrorists and uh, politicians and, and pundits uh, that are freaking trying to screw us with the globalization and shit like that. Well, you know what? This is made in USA. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. It's made in USA. American company. Um and uh, designed in USA, made in USA. It's not made in USA with global components or some shit. It's made by USA people all the freaking way, designed in the USA. And um, it's the shit, man. So it's uh, the Renaissance Charger, you know? Renaissance Charger, man. So uh, if you got the light on there too good. Yeah, the Renaissance Charger, that's what the hell it is. And um, I'm up, I just opted for the little one because. I mean, I got a 50 amp Schumacher. I got a 10 amp over there. I got a whole pile of freaking trickle chargers. I got another. I got another manual one that's six or six amps or some crap. I mean, I don't need. Uh, I I can wait. You know what I mean? So this thing's going right right now. It's going on the freaking. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll probably put it on the. Uh, um, this thing. You know, which I always figure before you actually get it going, you want to connect your battery so here's your battery lead here and your other battery lead here then plug it in you know because you know what I, I think it's all freaking good to go where nothing's gonna screw nothing up but uh, you know what the deal is you know what the deal is you don't want to do anything wrong you don't want to torture test it so there you go Red light, red light's on. That means it's charging. Actually, it just charged it's not that long ago, but it's probably just going to top it off. It'll probably top it off better than what I had before, even with my Schumacher trickle charger and my, um, what do you call it, desulfator. When the green light goes on, it's fully charged. This is way better than any shit out there. Do not be fooled by fancy packaging or whatever the hell is out there. You know, something's got bright colors, you know, Made in China, it's got all these freaking... This is made in USA, not just made in USA. It is quality that will pay you back over many years.